hi and welcome to a new studio vlog studio vlog 132 before we get started i just feel it no more than right <laughs> than to say that the next clip that you will see was like taken for when i recorded last week and i was like uh, i it doesn't fit it's just too long this little side project uh, now bear in mind most of my life is side projects so anyway uh I just felt like I can't incorporate it into last week so I'm going to just put it into this week but I'm starting off by saying that it's sort of like a side project so you know like I still wanted to share it because I think it looks pretty cool when it's done um, but it's just a little bit weird so other than that I hope you enjoy the vlog there will be a lot of paint making in this week's vlog which I truly hope you will enjoy um so yeah let's just get started okay so <laughs> um change of plans as always so I've cut out all of these that I want to use when photographing uh, for May and then I was like oh I want to have something like this uh, but now this one needs to dry, obviously. <laughs> and I have been on a kick where I've been watching, I don't know, like vintage Bailey J and Jassa. Um, I mean, I, I love watching them currently. But recently I have been watching quite a lot of their older stuff. So like 2017, 18, something along those lines. And I've just really enjoyed myself. Anyway. <laughs> So I've been um, watching uh, a video by Bailey J where she's organizing her art and she's using disc binding to do that. And I was like, oh, that reminds me about something that I have been meaning to do because I have this thing of disc binds. Uh, and in here I have my um, stuff that I have done in color pencils. I'm trying to uh, expand my knowledge. <laughs> So right now they are disc bounds and it's just kind of flimsy as you can see. Uh, in here right now in the front I just have a polychromos swatch page from Craft and some piece of Albert. But then I have just like punched holes or slits I suppose. Uh, and then I have all the stuff that I have done that is not in a colouring book. So I have that in here. Uh, this, for example, is something that I just photocopied to craft paper and then I coloured it. Uh, it was my first attempt with the brute funners. And then a few others. So it's not a lot, but I just really enjoy... You see that shine? That's Pollux. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just really enjoy it. So when I have printed off... Uh, these I can just put them here and then there I just really enjoy coloring on craft so what I was trying to say is that uh, I have been meaning to do like a cover so it's a little bit sturdier right now it's kind of easy for it to get lost in the in bookshelves that I have because it doesn't really stand up on its own and so uh, I do have the huge punch this is made by uh, Mia Tende de Arte and Craftelier. It's really great, but it can't punch very thick. So, first I wanted to use chipboard. That is too thick, it won't fit into the punch. So, my next thinking is, if I just take some pretty paper and I then laminate it, and then I make one for front and for back, it should be a little bit more stable. So I have here a section, like a lot of paper that I have bought that is, I have many of the same. Uh, so when I make my books and journals and all of that, I have some paper that I know I will like. Most of them are floral patterns. Most of them are from different sub brands by American Crafts. So for example, this one, I have I made a new cover for this sketchbook. This is um, Fabriano uh, that has 50% caution paper or paper made from 50% caution. Uh, and I just took, uh, and it has a very, very thin cover. So I just took some chipboard and covered it in this pretty paper. And then, so I have that. Also the other sketchbook that I currently use 
that is also made by Fabiana Paper, but I... Ooh, <laughs> that I have made myself um, uses this paper, which is one of my favorite currently. Uh, and here you can see this paper was from a paper pad. This one was bought loose, so you can see it's much um, has a high con um, contrast in this one. Anyway, so I want to do that, and I also want to make when I still have my lamination thing on, I want to make another one of these. I made this for uh, my the sketchbook I had before this one, I think. So I've been using it quite a long time. Uh, and it's still keeping up, but uh, it is slowly. So what it is, is just A4 paper that is laminated and then hole punched and then I uh, cut slits into it. And those slits are starting to get a little bit uh, worn. But what that is for is I can very easily change it around from the different pages when I'm using the ring binder. And I really like using the landscape A4, but having the whole thing spread out is very, very big. And I just prefer one. So if I'm drawing or painting on this side, uh, I run the risk of ruining the other side. So this is just like a cover. Also, if I were to have a, a journal with like what I like to do with ink or alcohol marker or something, this will protect the other side. So, uh, I like to make another one so I could have that oops, in, in this one. So, that is the plan, to make two covers and then some uh, just, uh, I don't know what to call it, like sketchbook protection stuff. So, I have a bunch of paper here that I really like. Uh, like I said, most of them are florals because I just really like florals just going to, I really like this one too, with those little daisies. Okay, anyway, you know what, I'm just going to take, I'm going to do both of them. I'll use them, so I'm going to do that. We're going to laminate them and then just punch some holes. So I've done some paint and I'm currently trying to clean some paint, but I have an extremely killingy poodle today. So here is what I usually do when he won't leave me alone. 
And I know people do this with towels. He does not want to do make it with anything fabric, so paper it is. Any treats that he will actually like. I use quite a lot of treats because he is very skinny, my little boy, so he needs them. Men du köpte en sån som är lite som jag. Hi, just popping in here to remind you that down below there is a link to my Etsy shop where you can find all the lovely paints that I've made. Well, not the paints I made in this video because those are not ready yet, but paints I have done in previous vlogs. You can find those in the Etsy shop down below. Also, there's a newsletter that comes out once a month with all the new stuff that will be in the shop. Also, sometimes there will be freebies and a coupon code, so make sure you don't miss out on that. Okay, so it's Monday and uh, I thought that because uh, it is actually a red day in Sweden, so it's Easter Monday? Sure, it's Easter Monday, <laughs> so everybody has the day off, uh, but there will come a few people here to trim the dog, and I thought I'm going to see if I can get some work done in the studio today uh, before I actually do the work in the office later today. Let's start with the fun, okay? <laughs> anyway, so yesterday I started the, uh, the 100 heads challenge. I have been, I think I've actually started it once before, but yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, I have seen so many do it and I was like, you know, I'm just, I'm just going to do it. I have this lovely sketchbook from Bailey J. Let's, let's do it. So, um, yesterday I did uh, up to 18. And I actually did some Copic. Like it's pretty. Uh, but yeah, so I came to 18. Uh, these are the ones I'm least happy with. Um, I think the second page is the one I am most happy with. Uh, what I have done is I just used the Pro Colors and um, they work really nice for sketching. But today, drawing with waffles. She recommended ballpoint pen and highlighter. So I'm just going to go and grab a highlighter. Let's, let's try it out here. I have this lovely green one. Yeah, I think that will work. So let's start off today with green. It is the 18. And let's see where we finished. 
I'm going to link this board down below because it has all the heads with the numbers on top of the images in the right order. It's the little sad girl. I'm just going to put that up from here. And my camera is flashing, so I'll be right back. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to make the red paint for July that I have been postponing because I just cannot decide and now I need to make it. So, in here we have metallic pigments. In here, I think this lid is actually attached. Yeah. But we need to decide on that, on the red one. I have made a lot of different variation of the red. I just cannot make up my mind. And what I want to do is a sparkly red. So it is Tuesday today and it's the first like proper work week, work day this week but I have actually sort of been working the whole weekend 
Um, <laughs> so today I started with some computer management. I feel like I'm pretty good at organizing my computer stuff uh, with folders and all that. But it just accumulates and then you're like, crap. And then it takes forever to sort it all out. Uh, and then like when you're actually going to work and you're looking for stuff, I spent so much time looking for stuff when I have not been good. So I do try to keep my computer desk organized as well. But yes, <laughs> so I started doing that. I've also imported all of the, uh, what I have been filming the last week. And right now, I have six hours and 35 minutes of unedited footage for, for vlog 131. So we'll see if that is a full vlog or if I can split it up and start vlog um, 132 in the same one. Never really know. Um, but I'm not very organized with my vlogs. Before I was very much like Monday to Thursday, edit Fridays. And in one way, that was kind of nice because that was like, no matter what I did uh, in the footage, like the length of the vlog was whatever I'd filmed. Now I'm <laughs> just like, I have no idea when I'm starting or finishing, uh, which is a little bit of a freedom, but also when I'm actually sitting down like, oh, it, usually I have like three or four hours of footage and now I have six and a half hours so <laughs> it's a little bit daunting but when I just scroll through a lot of the stuff that I have here is making paint or like things I have planned on speeding up or cutting down pretty heavily so I hope that all of it will be in one vlog so we'll see. But it's always excitement uh, or exciting to <laughs> to start a new vlog <laughs> or start editing a new vlog. Another thing I will be doing today is packaging orders that has come in. I have noticed a big drop um, in the orders, which um, it's a little bit worrying and a little bit like nervous but at the same time considering what is going on in the world especially in Europe right now I'm just really happy I get any orders at all uh, uh yeah like I said I've been working quite a lot this weekend um with uh, some computer stuff uh, I have uh planned a few things I also reorganized my pigment shelf which I'm very happy about that took a long time um, and I will be having a very pretty snot next week I will assure you <laughs> that's always fun like no matter like uh, when I blow my nerves like I can always tell what, what paint I've made so yeah that's something but um, I have organized it better so I have it more like in color order uh, it was in color order before, but then, you know, it sort of gets out of hand, I suppose. But uh, I like it now. I still need, like, double the shelf space, but I do the best with the space that I have. Another thing that I have been <laughs> doing is the 100 head challenge, or 100 face, 100 head, yeah, uh, from Ahmad. Um, and I am... Um, today it is day three so i'm really excited about it and so far i'm having a really good time and uh so yeah that's my plan for today i'm going to package orders and then um doing a little bit of editing and then i think i will take my phone and my sketchbook and sit outside and do a few heads because it's just the usual weather so yeah let's see it's 10 no, it's 11. <laughs> it's 10 past 11. So, I'm hoping that if I can get all of the orders packed, I'm going to have some lunch, sit outside maybe, and then edit this afternoon. I think that sounds pretty good. Um, hopefully by this time I can start <laughs> filming on the, on the proper camera again. So. Let's have some fun 
<laughs> anyway, um, so I'm going to rearrange the trays with paint and I do this semi-regularly and it always takes a long time but as you can see this is the back side looks like a <laughs> like a work of art but I need to clean them it's not as bad here but yeah also these are old baking trays it was worked uh it was used in a bakery and that that bakery uh, they moved locations so they were selling out the old inventory so I bought two tray cells and the trays to store paint on which has been really really great but it also means that a lot of them are burned and, and all of that but that's you know uh, I'm really happy I have them so I'm going to try and uh, clear them up as much as possible especially this side Okay, so <laughs> it is a Thursday. I've been into town to drop off the orders. I also found cute nail polish. I have not cleaned off my nails, but it was just so cute. So I'm sitting here because I'm a little bit <laughs> tired. I'm sort of gathering myself. I'm going to go and make some paint, but I am, I'm having a, a rough day. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just sitting here. I also found they sell these like cups with melons at the supermarket and um, sometimes you can find them for lower the price so I did that today when I was dropping off the order so treating myself to that but I have here a little order that I ordered from um, I'm so sorry I cannot pronounce that but I will link it down below it is Anna she makes it she lives in Germany she makes the cutest stationery stuff and I have been buying her stickers and washi tape for years now oh, uh, oh and I'm also working on a on a page in uh, the forest kingdom I'm actually like halfway through this book I think um, I've been working so much on it I really really enjoy it I use quite a lot of wet media in it too <laughs> but um, the um, the newest book uh, the black one it's on its way so I'm really excited about that however this is what I ordered from Anna's shop the biggest thing is this uh, sort of weak notepad I just thought it was so cute with this sort of um, this sol almost solid color looks like it's sort of penciled in or like soft pastel you know something and then all of these flowers I just I mean I just really liked it I am thinking about doing something like this myself like a notepad thing um, but for now I'm just enjoying hers I also have this version that she that I bought from her before 
I have this on my desk like all the time and I'm always swatching colours on it, testing things, writing things. It's just like, it's so pretty and just, I just, I just really like her style, you know? So I got that. I also got two washi tapes and she makes the cutest washi tapes. I just has little tiny white flowers. I mean, that is just so cute. It's just like perfect for anything. And the other one I bought is, uh, well, it's also <laughs> white flowers. And this one is a little bit more like wildflower-ish. And I just feel like those are just really, really cute. Then, of course, oh, and I also have this washi tape, uh, but I have it upstairs. Okay. So, I got another pad. <laughs> And it's just like a to-do list. I thought it was really cute. And like I said, because I'm thinking about making something like this myself, I'm like, well, it's for it's for research purposes. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I just really like her floral designs. We have some freebie stickers. They're really cute. And then I just got a lot of a lot of stickers. Some planning. I thought I was going to do something. I really like the stars, so uh, I've been listening to a lot of different audiobooks lately. Like, I always, I pretty much always listen to a lot of audiobooks, but lately I've been listening to new ones. I, I am a sucker for listening to the same ones over and over again, but I've been listening to several new ones, and I like to. I thought I could do that. We we'll have some weather. This is more like Swedish weather. This is more like hoping for better weather. <laughs> Some cleaning, recycling. I think this is my third or fourth sticker sheet of this one. It's just so cute. This one is it's called Hygge and it's just like really nice cozy elements. Uh, these were just too precious not to. Like come on. Uh, and then this like cottage core with a chicken and a bunny and I was like that is just too cute so Yeah, there was just like She just makes the cutest stuff and I'm like you cannot expect me just to sort of like look away. Are you? <laughs> so yeah, there are some fun things that I got from Anna link down below highly recommend i'm just going to continue look at these for a bit i'm going to have some hydration <laughs> and then uh we will meet uh and we are going to make soul uh together on the slab Okay, good morning. It is Thursday and it is bright and early. It's even, can you see that? It's even sunshine today. Albert woke me up at around six, uh, which is a little bit earlier than I normally get woken up, but that's okay. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's so bright. Yeah, it's very, very bright. Anyway, we're going to take a look at the paints I did yesterday because, oh yeah, I can, I can already tell bubbles. So, let's see here. This is Albin, the paint my mom did. And yeah, we have bubbles. I did try and Take out most of them, but just look at them. Look at them. Like, but I knew it would happen. I just knew it. 
So I have, uh, I told her to save a part of the, the paint so I can fill them up. I just get so annoyed. Okay, let's see, what paint did I did? I think I put it, where did I put it? No oh god. No, I can't find it. Where did I put it? Oh my god, where did I put it? Oh, duh. It's in here. So you can see here the yellow one. And we have the opposite problem here where we have cracks. We have a few that looks good, but I still need to make another batch to, to fix them up. However, Agnes is done. Apart from one that it leaked through, <laughs> through this one and it got a bit of uni on top of it. So, yeah. But, oh, so that's quite annoying. Uh, this red one, I really love this red one. It's the new color. But I have that on a jar. So, yeah. Oh, so annoying. Anyway, that's that's life with making paint. Uh, let's see here. We have a lot of these. This is the latch of Frank that I have for this year. Anyway, it's, it would be really fun to see how Frank <laughs> will look next year. Anyway, so those are all done. For June. Also for June it will be Opium Digitalis and Aconitum. Where did I put Aconitum? Here. So those are all done. We have even more Digitalis here. Okay. So that means that June is it's done and this is July. So what we need to do on July it is Ivar, this one, and then the new blue one that I put on one tray. I just can't remember which one. <laughs> oh my god. And on top of it, I've started to clean the the trays and I rearranged the paint. So I'm like, if I knew where they were before, I do not know. Nope. I knew I put it with some other paint. No. No. Oh, there. It's over here. So we also need to make this one. So yeah, that's the plan. So at least one paint today and let's get started. <laughs> so much for watching this week's vlog. I truly hope you have enjoyed it. I have had a really nice week. I feel like I have been productive. I've made a lot of stuff. Uh, I also feel very good about Albert's little makeover. He is very happy and he will take any chance he can get to show off his new he, he, he feels himself right now, let me tell you. So I hope you enjoy that. In next week's vlog, I will show you the finished pages in the 100 challenge because, spoiler, I actually finished it within the 10 days, which feels pretty cool because 
I hardly ever finish challenges if I actually do any challenges. So this was like a really boost for my self-confidence. Uh, there will be more paint making and a lot more drawing and um, I was going to say painting, but I actually, technically, it's not painting. It is drawing next week, which I really hope you enjoy because I'm really excited about it. <laughs> so I hope you will stick around, check out Studio Vlog 133 next week. And until then, take care and I hope to see you then.